more than you care to, to deal with. And it's just a very kind of, uh, I don't want to say monolithic, but mm -hmm. the idea is lots of support, lots of disruption. And if you fa if you focus either Lashrak or Medusa, there's tons to keep them alive. I really like what we're going for here from uh, Prime, from yeah. Mongolia, but it does feel like Cerberus has so many options to go for. And really that grim stroke to stop mm. uh, a, a farmed hero like Medusa from just you know one-shotting uh, you know whoever they managed to catch out. Yeah, we'll have to see here. Uh, to be honest, here for me personally, from uh, seeing the dra uh, seeing this draft, I like Prime Mongolia's draft overall a little bit better. It it feels as if they can kind of uh, take control of this game in a way where if they want to do a team fight, if they want to initiate, they have the tools. If they want to slow it down, take their time, make it a fifty or an hour game, they also can do that with their defensive spells and heroes as well. So, I don't know, we'll have to see how this is played out, but I don't know, before we get in, just my prediction is that Primal Mongolia just has a, a better pick in my opinion. Well, we'll see if your opinion is valid or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll <laughs> and, see. And how it stacks up against the infinitely valuable opinion uh, of our viewers, who I'm sure have mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit of, of that going on. But let's go ahead and see how things are going to shape up. I don't think it's uh, uh, going to surprise anyone. Uh, the Medusa, you know, just running mid uh, for now. I, I always get my hopes up that we're going to see the return of the hard support tri-lane, but nah. no, it doesn't look like that is uh, in our future uh, here, at least. So uh, early wards coming out. Uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna. we're going to be seeing any uh, you know, creep blocking or um, pulls, at least for now. But uh, I do want to oh make sure goodness. that uh, TNT knows which side of the map he needs to be on. <laughs> Thankfully, he's going to be able to chew his way through yeah. and away safely. Definitely went in there probably to ward. Uh, took a lot of damage. Doesn't want to go home yet to heal up, but here we go. We do see the, we do hear the horns for the creeps. Oh my gosh, this guy. You want to get as much damage as possible. Oh, did he really get the steal off on that bounty rune? Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, yeah, three to one. So a nice start there for Prime <laughs> oh Mongolia. Goodness. Feels bad to have that taken, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yep. Do have the Monkey King going at bot. Omni Knight nice a little lane. bit slow to creep block, so that uh, you know long lane is going to okay. push a little bit. Or the safe lane is going to be a little bit further out than uh, maybe he would otherwise have wanted. But still, uh, I, I, I the the pick that I still don't fully understand is mm -hmm. Mars. Maybe that's yep. just because he's a little bit new, uh, but also just because I'm not sure exactly what position that's supposed to to hold here. Uh, yeah, every time I see Fissure, I'm just like, okay, well, you have at least one more of those left, and then uh, your hero doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> so yeah. i got to keep an eye on that. All right. Well, we have lanes here. Earthshaker kind of doing the poke damage with his skills early on. It's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, the early laning phase. Not a big deal. Nothing. No first blood coming out yet. Yeah, uh, we're just going to see uh, a little bit more. Pa the only thing I'm worried about is like Full Moon. He really mm. does seem uh, to love to disrupt. And, and I don't, I, I mean, okay, he's, a, he's an Earth Shaker. Surprise. Yeah. Um, but the focus on the top lane is what really kind of surprises uh, me. Because especially when like Sari's underneath his tower, I don't think you're really going to be uh, having a whole lot of success there. Yeah. This is the lane where we're probably going to see yeah. our first blood come from. And I'm not trying to jinx it, put the caster curse on it. I'm just saying uh, that especially with Omni Knight here, that could uh, really turn the tide of the bottom uh, you know, the safe lane. I All right, guess well, what could also turn the tide is a pause. Mm -hmm, but you guys can probably see the chat for yourselves. Uh, they froze, I guess. One of the computers froze. Either that or the weather is very cold outside today. And he uh, meant frozen because it was cold. But it seems like we are going live again. The countdown has begun. We are back. And you were mentioning that you know this lane with the Omni Knight and the Monkey King probably get the first blood. But look at this. It seems like Vengeful Spirit is in trouble. Yeah, Tavanerita oh, trying to run gosh, away. But there yeah, we go. nowhere to go. He got painted to death there. And the shield. Yeah, and Mars takes first blood, so uh, a little bit surprising to me. But I think what was more surprising is that positioning, just uh, mm. a little bit too far forward, didn't respect 
uh, the damage there. And that's yeah. first blood over to Cerberus from Thailand. Yeah, and you know, it's a little bit off topic, but every, ever since Mars came out, um, I was wondering if it's any way possible for a Mars skin to come out and have that Captain America shield. Ah, that's, oh, that, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. They're just waiting. It's like <laughs> when they run out of fantastic, yeah. uh, you know, uh, skin ideas, that's mm. that's certainly in there. Yeah. We're definitely going to see a Broodmother Spider-Man oh. uh, at some point. <laughs> or I guess it would be Spider-Woman. Oh, but yes. regardless, Full Moon was doing the uh, initiation. Now he is being initiated upon. Uh, unfortunately, there's really no follow-up there. But really, it's just Wukong trying to exert his pressure uh, out on the jungle and try to you know make sure that he can carve that out for himself. Oh, this is not the way you want to start things out as a Medusa, but thankfully just barely able to get out there. Never was he so happy to have two Wraith Bands in yeah. his inventory. Uh -huh, exactly, and I just looked at the, the last hits for the CS and the Nice, and Sniper at mid against Medusa is, oh, he is playing around with him. You gotta, you gotta pressure the sniper because right now, 16 last hits and eight denies where Medusa has only one deny, which means this will add up for a sniper. And we were talking about how, you know, sniper players always think, oh, I'm not gonna get ganked, you know, I'm just gonna keep my distance. But if you allow, if you actually allow a sniper, there we go, finally we have a gank here at least to pressure. But if you allow a sniper to do this, you know, you have to make. Oh, oh the block didn't my work. God. That's the, the worst possible. Well, I guess the worst possible is you just totally missed. But yeah, walling the sniper to safety. Uh, yeah. It's probably exactly uh, Don't what do. he uh, yeah, what he wanted. Well, okay, <laughs> nice try there. We're moving on, though. Yeah. Uh, and let's check out the first rune spawns here. We've got invisibility and double damage. Okay, yep. that's. Uh, it's a pretty good way to start things off. Full Moon with a double damage rune. That's just going to make these initiations even more deadly. All right. Well, here we go. Donkey King taking a little bit of risk, but he knows Lich is behind him, and Omni Knight is in danger. I think he's basically done. He does go into the jungle. Ooh, but the creep. Wait, did he really did get he that die? deny off? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait, was that the deny? I missed it. I yeah, the Savage I, took him out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I looked away for a sec. I think I blinked. I didn't even look away. And Well, one thing we should point out is that because we are playing on the new patch, yeah. denies work a little bit differently now. Uh, they changed around the uh, XP that gets given away, mm -hmm. and so you do have to really uh, consider uh, that oh. as a change. Now, let's keep an eye here. Mars coming back in. He's going to get not goodness. one, but two. That was a very... Big mistake by the Earthshaker. He literally, he, he got double stunned, but he blocked out Vengeful Spirit. I don't know, even if he didn't block him off, he still would have died, I think. However, either way, he blocked his own teammate off who came to kind of, you know, help him out. Mm. But Earthshaker today, right now, <laughs> has been making a lot of bad fissure moves here already, starting from the first game. And as I say that, he comes here to support that kill. Hey, well, at least when you die now, I think it costs you 50 less gold. So, yeah. you know, sick. <laughs> You're really cashing that one in on the bank as far as, uh, you know, unreliable gold goes. Mm -hmm. But um, let's keep an eye. Last hit. There we go. Great. I uh, got a deny on the uh, siege. So, I, I mean, I guess that's uh, good. But I think now, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. Uh, with the new patch change, denies give, uh, I think it's like 5% more XP yeah, to the opponent. To the opponent. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's as punishing. But it's still punishing. Yeah, if, if you're not good at last taking in the lane, your opponent is, it used to be just really, really rough. And yeah. now it's a little bit less so. Still pretty bad if you're getting uh, siege creeps denied over and over again. So yeah, it's, and, you know, better comparison. Look at Sniper versus Medusa. Oh, my God. Like, Sniper almost has as much denies as Medusa got his uh, last hit. So when that is happening, yeah, even with uh, the updated patch, it's still going to hurt you. Earthshaker is found out in front of the secret shop by Monkey King. He's like, get away. I see you. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. not a mystery. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he's going to be uh, in, a, in a position where... I mean, at least, wait, what, why is... Oh, they're going in. 629 way in. up there. Nice Fissure this time around. Yeah, yeah, but that's exactly why he's here. Yeah. Uh, just to help uh, 629 have a lane where even if he does get jumped on, like we saw happen earlier, yeah. he's not just going to die immediately. 
Uh, the only problem is, like, I'm just watching Monkey King just farm this one out, and yeah. you look, look at that, he is, just feels zero pressure. What is oh, the Omni Knight going to do? For it. The damage is just so lopsided. I'm surprised if 629 even makes it back to his Ooh. turret alive. You can just go for the dive here. Yeah, one more. Doesn't want to tank the tower for too long here. The career does come and go. But yeah, these kills are going to add up here. If you look at the top, it's zero to seven. Zero kills for Prime, Mongolia. Seven kills are ready for Cerberus in the first seven minutes. So basically a, a kill per minute right now. Yeah, I guess if you want to look at it that way, I'm just considering that Prime's playing for the late game. Let me yeah. call it that. Um, that's they just have to. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, make it seem a whole lot more even than it is uh, yeah, ending it's, life. It's definitely not. It is definitely not. I mean, hey, let's talk about the good things, right? Uh, the carries on Prime are insane if they get ahead. And if you look at the you know, net worth, they're way up there. The only problem is that the sniper, the deny game is so good uh -huh. that he's really solidifying that lane for himself. Now, Mars has been the big carry here, or one of them for Cerberus. Might not be him for much longer. That's a nice takedown, taking out that four kill streak all right well you know i was thinking before when the earth shaker was uh kind of messing up with his fishers with the blocks i thinking maybe he shouldn't oh. jank so much but here we go with the dive they are gonna go for the dive here yeah how and boundless is that enough. strike nope not, not boundless, boundless enough it's imba but anyways as i was saying I mean, Lashrak coming in here. Brainiac oh, could Lashrak. actually turn this those Lashrak, tower shots are gonna AOEs. add up look at how AOEs. strong in the end, he is. Uh, did he get denied there? No. No, 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 no. Just checking at the end there. Uh, but no. Uh, that it was a nice turnaround there. It's still a two for one. I'm not sure exactly if that's what was looking. Uh, if that's what they were looking for. But hey, Lashak takes top gold uh, with that kill. So yeah. can't feel bad about that. Well, Lashak, uh, early game to be honest. Personally, he should. He's not that strong. But getting that double kill is definitely going to boost him up in EXP and um, net worth or money. So, and when a Leshrac starts getting farmed, I don't know who's going to stop him. Uh, yeah, I mean, Leshrac is at least one of the easier to lock down uh, heroes. I'm not sure exactly, uh, you know, if that's their carry uh, potential, their big idea. Let's keep an eye on the bottom lane. Uh, nope. Venge a little bit low here. Fisher. And look at that. Fissure's good, but so is that boundless strike. I, Savage, 23 Savage oh. here, so strong, but he knows he can't initiate without the rest of his team. Here comes Mars in, hitting that six just in the nick of time, skewering Lashrak against the wall. That is one dead pony. That is a dead pony. That was a clean kill, clean execution by Cerberus here. They are taking the lead again. They are paying Leshrak back for that double kill that he took before. <laughs> He's like, don't come to this lane. Leave. Go back to top. I guess it's not technically a pony. It's a tormented soul. soul. Uh, mm -hmm. But he looks like a pony to me. Yeah. So. <laughs> He's a shiny pony. There's already a centaur war runner in here. We can't call him a centaur. Yeah. Got too many of those. All right, well, still look at the CS going through for this. That's sniper. a little disgusting. Yeah. Oh, he smoked up, though. Yeah, all right. So I think especially 23 Savage looking for something, hopping up onto a tree, getting right back off just as effortlessly. It doesn't look like he's oh dancing on tree, even though that's oh what it's called. This oh, full moon. is clueless. No, oh, he's, it's he's not just even close. Deleted. So I think we're starting to see uh, one of the big kind of shortcomings of Prime mm -hmm. as a team, and maybe yeah. this is something we can look for as we see them play a little bit later on as well. Uh, is it? I don't think they have uh, the vision that it requires yeah. uh, to decide to make the decisions that they are about uh, you know their their rotations here because if you look venge was mid and i'm just like okay well why is that the case because you need to you know have at least some support for that bottom lane whether it's omni knight whether it's venge something needs to be down there to stop dives like that from happening and when you're engager when you your your gank support is getting dove there's something wrong with that and it's oh not going to stop just yet oh man shish kebabs being made here in the mid lane by sari um mm. And right now, uh, you know, it, it was. It's good that you mentioned this uh, vision control. Right now, Cerberus they have these offensive wards right now to see the rotations of Primal, uh, Primal, Prime Mongolia to see how they rotate to come to to calculate their backup timing. And uh, 
Prime right now doesn't have too much offensive or defensive wards, uh, which lacks in vision, and you're going to get ganked like that. You know, when you have wards, you still get ganked because of the smoke, but when you don't have wards, that's just going to create more opportunities for your opponents to just comfortably just come around and just mm -hmm. not pressure, but actually pick up kills with ganks. I mean, it's, yeah, one of the th great things about Dota is that it's not over until uh, the Fat Ancient sings, mm -hmm. uh, or whatever it is. Um, and truly, the carry potential is gigantic uh, for Prime. Uh, the only problem is they, uh, you know, got to get there. So we'll be uh, just waiting for that to happen. Yo, know, Brainiac, he's getting his money. He's still not way, way up there. But the uh, Medusa is not a, uh, a zero threat option here. Something we'll have to think about. But we really haven't gotten to the point where Medusa really does a whole lot at this point. I mean, same thing for Cypher, too. Arena Blood, oh, once God. again, the Omni Knight. Gonna be bleeding out here. Grimstroke ults through uh, and he's gonna DP. Yeah, but no, 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 all the skewer into the wall. He is trying to survive here. The juke is happening, but can't juke that. Sari with another kill. Mars going off again. Goodness. I'm sorry, I thought Gracious. Sniper was the carry. Yeah, no. Well, Mars, as you know it, he is a god. So he's gonna just not give up and just carry for himself. Yeah, well, See, the scarier thing is, you know, you, you, you just said, oh, I thought Sniper was a carry. Sniper isn't even doing anything. He's just farming, 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 and allowing his teammates to do the thing. And when they actually start uh, getting pushed back by Prime, then Sniper. Hey, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he really just assassinate? Yeah. Okay, that's not necessarily the oh way I goodness. see that used all the time. Uh, well, well, picking up the field by some boffing him on the head. Piploy, uh, I love the Lakaba tag there, just yeah. as a, a nice little war cry. Uh, this is starting to go from bad to worse here. It's all well and good to have carries on your roster, but uh, you might be carrying those on uh, to the next game, because this one looks like it might just be mm. over. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not going to go long. Like, like we said, Prime, they want to go as late as possible. Medusa, we haven't seen him fight yet. So there's still hope because we haven't seen, we've only been seeing, uh, you know, small team fights, uh, skirmishes, ganks. So until we actually see Sniper and Medusa join in the fight and mm -hmm. if there will ever be a regular team fight, an actual team fight, uh, we'll see what happens then. But for now, Prime definitely getting pushed back and Monkey King dives in for Medusa. There's another Mars. arena of blood. The spirit of the wall, it's just effortless. Sari, there's nothing, he is a god. Yeah, and we saw Earthshaker in there, oh well, up there behind, in front of the ancient uh, uh, creeps. He was thinking, what do I do? Do I fissure? He's already dead. Do I tell them where I am? They might come for me, you know, and he had to just Stand still and watch. Yeah, and you know that uh, that hesitation mm -hmm. is just probably the worst characteristic to ever have as a Dota player. Like it's better to make a bad scan or a bad. I, I read the scan off yeah. the, the, the <laughs> screen. It's better to make a bad call that everybody follow, follows than a good call that only a few people follow. Uh, and honestly, uh, the the reflexes, the initiation. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Oh, stun does go through here. The Fissure follows. He is a dead painter. I mean, that's one way to start picking up some kills. Yeah. I think that's the first kill we've seen for Prime in uh, a good long while. And going to the Lashrak, I mean, that's exactly where you want your gold. So good to see 252 heading that way. All right. Well, Prime definitely uh, still getting rid and kind of pressuring the top lane. The tier two tower are ready. Same thing for Bob. Monkey King is pressuring the bottom side for Prime. So, you know, it's kind of even regarding the towers except for mid. So right now, Prime was already lacking in, you know, fighting for vision and they had their mid tower down first and that is going to cause a lot of problems here. And there we go, they're gonna go in for the Leshrac. Oh, immediate swap out there. Beautiful play by Venge to say, all right, let's save the carry. Yeah. I'll take one for the team. Gets taken out, but uh, certainly much better than losing that carry. But still. <laughs> Just, but still. But still. But, uh, still. but here we go, we have Monkey King jumping around in the forest. Those poor trees. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, Monkey King doing what Monkey Kings apparently uh, are wont to do. He's going to be able to uh, jump right on out of there. Uh, you know, I, I'm glad to see at least some care, some respect. Yeah. Uh, you know, put on the name of that, uh, um, of the Earthshaker. But at the same time, I think that that just, you know, might signal kind of the beginning of the end here. Because if you're, if you have a huge advantage and you're playing as safely as you can, I mean, how many opportunities are you really going to give the other team to try to make a comeback in this game? Yeah, and also uh, the thing is, I think the Monkey King wanted to go jump onto the Earthshaker, but they had a ward. Now it's dewarded by Medusa, I think. But he saw the Medusa, but look at this. The fight happens. All slowed. Oh, my goodness. Cerberus just dominating. Mars coming in for that stun to finish that off. And the Sniper finally joins the fight, and he is just out of this world. Yeah, the only thing I've seen from Cypress, I think, uh, an assassinate that didn't get a kill. But yep. now we finally <laughs> get a chance to see what it looks like when a 160 over 30 uh, sniper comes in and finally starts uh, to join uh, the fight. And now, what are you going to do? There's three versus zero top lane. There's a sniper that could just AFK push down the mid lane. And even Wukong taking control of bottom. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this for Cerberus. They certainly seem to be well and truly in charge. Definitely. Five kills to 18 kills. You guys can see the big, huge difference. You know, usually we, if it's a close game, we look at the kill, uh, we look at the, uh, the CS and the denies, we look at the net worth of each team. But for a game like this, where the kills, it's over three times on the other side, this, this just basically speaks for itself. I mean, even though the kills are the big numbers, they aren't always the biggest number. Uh, the biggest thing to kind of think about is, like, you know, what are the objectives that are really being taken as a result uh, of a lot of these fights? Are you looking for just really super farmed heroes? I don't necessarily think uh, Cerberus has that as their, uh, their win condition. Sure, Sniper's a god right now, but uh, I think it's more about them getting the vision control that they need. You'll notice uh, they have the ability to cut right through mid and then arc bottom. And so this position that we're starting to see down here is just so dangerous. So 23 Savage can just jump right on in there, and I don't even think that Taburi oh knows goodness. the danger he's in. All right, well, the smoke does run out. He, uh, hmm. the Medusa, I don't know if he saw them. He, they are uphill, but... He didn't have high ground vision. Yeah, but either way... No, they do. Oh, well, actually, yeah, they smoked through the ward, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they didn't... Medusa didn't catch him, but I guess he just... He felt it. He <laughs> felt the presence. He felt the aura of... The demonic god Mars coming <laughs> through. Well, watch out for a second because we might be getting some blood in our arenas. Omni Knight all the way up top. And if you look at just the distribution, yep. it looks like Cerberus are just all about taking down that tier two on the safe lane. Not safe any longer. And Omni Knight really the only hero pushing for Prime. Uh, I think Prime are just way out of position to stop the loss of this tier two bottom. Yeah, but uh, if you you just mentioned the top tier two getting pressured by Omni, also may go down. I don't see the hell. Oh, it is actually down. So yeah, it's a trade. So they are at least Prime is at least keeping up in somewhat uh, of with the towers. So that is better than nothing for Prime. You are certainly correct there. Better than nothing. Not great, but mm -hmm. you know it's there. We take those sometimes. Uh, but let's see uh, what's happening as the game draws on. Uh, it's oh not gosh. good enough for Sniper to just have an incredible amount of gold in CS. He's got that Midas kicking in. Now top lane, another uh, arena of blood no. skewing him up. And that not is going to be another beautiful kill for our God of War. Yep. Well, when Mars ults, nobody's going to get out, especially if he's with a Monkey King. That is super farmed. So... Very unfortunate right now for the way it's going for Prime Mongolia. But still, like I said, there is a chance. And there we go. Urshaker finally does that initiation, picks up that kill. Gosh, Putting this is what they need to do. Exactly. That's picture perfect. Exactly what they wanted. Now, but, let's not get it twisted. Yeah. We oh, are going to have some no. Wukong's command here. But how in command is he? The answer is as in command as he wants. Perfect. Turn around there. They get one, but they give up two, including Atlas Shrak. Yeah, they got overjoyed, I think. With that kill pick off, yeah. they could have, or they should have actually assumed, all right, they, you know, even though we did get the kill, they were probably going to come, all right, they are actually going to go for a rush. Uh, it is 22 minutes into the game. However, uh, 
I think Prime, they should have just been happy with that one pickup with the Shaker. Sure. And then kind of regrouped, rethought of where the rest of Cerberus was because uh, they don't have any offensive wards on the side of Cerberus, so they they didn't have any vision. Oh, the swap on TNT, he oh, explodes. Gosh. And even though there's the counter kill there, nobody cares about the Venge going down. The nope. instant buyback, Arena Blood on the, the, uh, the pit, but it's not going to stop sniper the comes. deaths from coming through. Look at the sniper, free hitting from the back. Boom. How many headshots do you need? The assassination doesn't get the job done, but it's 23 Savage there to finish him off. Unstoppable. They go right back in the pit for more. An incredible display of dominance here by Cerberus Thailand right, on well, the Medusa board. Medusa does come with Vengeful with the Leshirak that died earlier. He tries to dive in, but he's not strong enough. He gets melted. Nice fissure coming from the Earthshaker. They do pick up a kill. So one for one trade after that crazy chaotic fight that Prime actually lost, but they do kind of pick up somewhat of an advantage here for Rosh. Yeah, but I mean, I mean we are going to see the end of Cerberus here. Oh, We've still got Grimstroke. The King does dive in. Everyone in the pit, crazy oh. chaotic damage. And even with that Aegis popped in the end, I think it's just going to be Taburi getting up, going right back down again. Or no, wait, there's no, more. It's not. The Leshrac, the buyback, the, the Aegis actually. Wow, the Medusa is actually stronger than I expected. Did we just barely get over yeah. the hump? Mm. Are the carries just starting to kick in for Prime in a way that maybe Cerberus didn't respect there? Mm. I, I mean, I definitely thought that we were just going to have dieback after dieback come in from Prime, but no, they really fought that incredibly well there. And we're starting to see the vulnerability of having a sniper on your team. That uh, we were just talking about you know, the, the, the Cypher Syndrome, where yeah. you just think that mm -hmm. you're going to stay back and not get initiated on. Well, oh, not so lucky. As you say initiate, they do get that Vengeful Spirit, I think. Was that? Yeah, Venge is yeah. dead for 70, so that is not going to be a, a hero. And, and after buying back as well, so. Yeah, so actually, uh, the thing is for Prime at that fight in front of the Rosh Pit, they did get a lot of buybacks coming through to try to get something out of the fight. Whereas Cerberus, they just stuck. And I don't think Cerberus, uh, all of them bought back. They, uh, I'm not sure if they, uh, one of them bought back either. But yeah, so Prime committed with the buybacks, whereas mm -hmm. Cerberus didn't. They still kind of uh, didn't lose too much because they saved gold with, uh, without uh, because they didn't buy back. So mm -hmm. we'll see if uh, Prime kind of committing in front of that Raj, getting a couple kills for the carries will change things. We got Manta style completed as well as Butterfly on that Medusa. So it doesn't get much scarier than that, especially Butterfly against the Sniper. You're going to have a carry battle. I don't think it's going Sniper's way, but, you know, I, I could be completely wrong about that. We'll have to watch and see what transpires here because it, it actually could be anybody's game, even with a 7K net worth lead for Cerberus when it comes to carry town, certainly seems like Prime may be the mayors of that. Uh, well, they try to do something, make something out of that smoke, but nothing happened. Omni Knight is just going to farm here, get some, make some money. He wants to be a little tankier than he is now, just to make sure that he survives uh, a little longer here. Ooh, the ping is here. And yeah, you know, they see Grimstroke oh. there, but uh, not in time to cancel the TP. Uh, that that would have... They would have actually been such a sick pickoff too, yeah. uh, because they they had Venge dead for so yeah. long, and now he just completely flips the script. But mm -hmm. uh, no, Grimstroke out of there, able to reposition, uh, just back out of harm's way. Well, let's keep an eye out on the next rotation here. It looks like uh, Cerberus could be looking towards the middle. Yeah, but right now, if you look at the maps, uh, Prime is committed to the top lane right now. We have four heroes uh, around top, and they don't have any. Um, offensive wards, or rather, uh, wards in Cerberus's jungle, except for that entrance near the rune spawn. So yeah, you're they, right. They can't see any of the rotations coming through. That's why they do back off here. Good call for Prime, even though there was no gank coming through. Lich and Monkey King bottom. This is a push you really have to respect here. Uh, I, I I don't know if you're uh, okay. Yeah, there's the the uh, TP coming through from Lashrac. Uh, La so. Uh, honestly, if they had waited and had Wukong on like a tree, then Brainiac could have just popped by uh, by walking into lane like that. They don't have any vision making sure that the Monkey King did in fact retreat. 
Yeah. So if you notice right now, uh, you know, I always talk about the vision fight. Prime has one kind of offensive ward on the top left. But if you notice, Cerberus, they are just playing super aggressive. They have control of their jungle as well as Prime's jungle. A lot of offensive wards. They are constantly de-warding. Prime, they're focused on defensive wards. They're warding in their jungle just to make sure to catch a... Uh, uh, and pick up on Cerberus' uh, gank rotations. And yeah, they were behind. They are still behind. They throw down that smoke. They want to make something happen. Oh, yeah. And I think they just might here. Uh, smoke on five. Uh, MKB also just now completed uh, for Sniper. So we were talking about how Butterfly might yep. make that a, a one-sided battle. Not so anymore that MKB going to completely turn the tides against that, uh, that Medusa. So I, I think... If we just have a straight-up fight, Cerberus, once again, might be on top, but they can't find anything off the smoke. Medusa pulling back, playing safe. Yeah, Prime, if you notice, uh, the exact moment they smoked and came into their jungle, Prime, four of them, except for Omni Knight, the, f the rest of the team, they just stayed at mid lane, waited until uh, Cerberus decided to show themselves, and that was a very good call. Good eye on the side of Prime. If they were to go out to mid lane, they would have all died. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but once again, knowing exactly when to back off here, uh, Prime, they're they're not throwing this one away. And keep in mind, they have this uh, split push Omni Knight. Never really thought I'd say that sentence yeah. too often, <laughs> but he is getting the work done. His tier two is down, and he is going to have to the opportunity to go high ground if he wants to. Look at the range on this sniper. Just get me out of this game. Yeah. Atrocious, disgusting. Last hit. Where's it at? That would actually be really easy to deny there if uh, they had yeah. somebody in range, but nope. That's a tier two going down in the mid lane to Jabs. Well, this is the benefit or the perks of having a sniper on your team this late into the, uh, you know, 30 minutes into the game. Yeah, still prime 11 to 28 regarding kills. Medusa finally, obviously with the split shots, is going to catch up in CS. But yeah. now, like by this time, when you know people are getting 200 plus CSs, uh, CS last hits, it's just all about the team fight. It's all about the vision fight, not to get ganked and to successfully gank. Well, you know, we've had the same 7K net worth lead for Cerberus for the last, like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Yeah. And the longer the game goes, you know, 7K might sound like a lot, but when you both have 20K net worth, it's like, okay, well, mm -hmm. that's a lot less, right? Um, so uh, as the game does draw on, I mean, nothing scarier than uh, six slotted Medusa. So we, we, absolutely could see Prime take this game late enough to really start things going in their favor. But I, I don't know, man. The more Midas uh, you know, charges we just see over and over again on this, uh, this sniper, the scarier it does get. All right. Well, now both teams, now even Cerberus, who was up so ahead, and, you know, I was saying that they're so up in kills, but you were yeah. correct, you, you know, you were kind of uh, telling me that, yeah, early game it may matter, but as the game goes on, when, you know, every, both teams just get farmed up, it won't, it'll matter, matter less and less. And I think we got to the point where now 11 to 28 kills will matter less at this moment. And that is why Cerberus is just being so cautious. They are smoked down here. They want to make something happen. Yeah, TNT oh looking God, to be the call, one. Though. Good fallback. Sari, he's got his finger on that R button. Where's he to go? There, there it is. Go. The Spirit Mars into the tree. He, he has didn't dropped. even ult. Yeah, he didn't even need it. Cerberus. There we go. Uh, now on killing sprees, finally the arena of blood comes through. And there's the assassinate we all knew was coming eventually. They find two and probably maybe even a little bit more. Another tier two, the final. Surviving T2 turret uh, taken down here. Cerberus finally making that slow and steady race pay off. Yeah, this tier three is also in danger with the sniper just poking it down from afar. Look at this. You have a shield man, Mars, and a king, Monkey King, just supporting this sniper, just being a nuisance to this uh, tier three. Like six or 40%, 50% of this tower HP is down already. Oh. Nobody is doing anything about it. A take aim is actually ridiculous. Oh, uh, uh, not Probably not too worried yeah, about that, but the the MKB is actually going to make a big difference if they do try to fight that out. Uh, you know, Grimstroke trying to help out a little bit there, just making sure. Carry gets out alive. Jabs will survive another day. 
What? Uh, what's the play here? I think Venge's out here fishing. Yeah, they're fishing. They are going to pretend to go to Rosh. And Mars does get the stand, uh, stun. Yeah, Maybe but come through. Yeah, no, I haven't a seen a swap just yet, no. though. Nope, dies with it up. So where is oh the arena? Goodness. Here it is, but a nice Omni Knight. Oh, very well positioned. Really does give Prime a kind of fight they want. And if you look at oh, that Medusa, gosh, Medusa one, two, off. three. We're the getting a double. The sniper is in danger, and there is uh, Earth Shaker from behind catches that sniper and does not allow him to do oh, free damage here. Beautiful fissures right, left, and center, and nobody to focus that. Medusa Omni Knight coming through in the clutch. What an insane fight. Prime find exactly what they needed. And now they're just going to shove right up the mid lane. They're looking to go high ground. All right, we do see the buybacks coming through on the side of Prime. Oh, my goodness. They, yeah, definitely. Cerberus, they have to buy back. Two buys back. Sniper does come back. Lich does come back. Okay. Uh, feels like uh, they are just going to back off, play it safe. They, it's a win, but it's not a win for uh, it's not a big enough win to go for that tier three mid tower. So they uh, are going to fall back. Right, right. When I say they're going to high ground, it's like if you don't force out buybacks, that's the direction you're going. And and really forcing out those buybacks, absolutely huge. Now yeah. for the first time, it feels like oh this God, game less than a seven K right net worth. Oh. Look at that, the fissure instantaneous catch there, and a mega kill streak for Medusa. Oh, man, this doesn't get much worse than this. Prime, oh, gosh. they're just finding one pick right after another. Swap oh, in, the stun, the Medusa going off again. What? TNT, almost Monkey dead to right. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's oh. a dead bench here in the... Oh, uh, oh. Knight, oh. Knight out. Whoa, no, Why knocked right want, out yeah. of it. Yeah, you don't want to TP out right in front of a Mars or even a yeah. Sniper. Yeah, I like the Yules to like just say, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll survive for another two seconds here, yeah. but not... Not really. All right, so right now, we've been seeing this over and over. Prime, they get something out of a fight. Right? Yeah. But they commit too much. They try to make something out of it. They make it. They try to get one plus one. <laughs> but for now, it's not a one plus one day. You're not at the position. You've got that one. Back off. Just go for a one the next day. Don't go for that plus one on the same day here. Because of that, they're going to give Cerberus yeah. Again. Now this is Roche number two, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get cheese here, but we're not going to get some of the new changes to Roshan on patch 722. We're not going to get uh, Aghanim's uh, charges. Yeah, the scepter item. Yeah, uh, and we're also not going to get refresher charges either, so uh, we're just going to have to wait for one more before this patch really kicks in. But uh, uh, yeah, what's next? Uh, honestly, just don't get picked off, please, please, uh, fool man. This is actually really scary. This is exactly uh, you know out of what is uh, Journey to the West? Is that what the the, the movie that yeah. uh, Wu Kong's from? Mm -hmm. Well, this is exactly like the middle where he is journeying. I guess they are technically moving eastward, but yeah. anyway, my Journey analogy fails. Yeah, we are just gonna Earthshaker, have a TP out. Yeah, was able to TP out because you notice all the wards finally defensive wards are working in uh, Prime's favor. Yeah, exactly. So he was able to successfully escape from that. Not a biggie, uh, Earthshaker, but now we're kind of at that Cold War stage, even though Prime got an, uh, a win in a team fight, I guess, in a way, committed too much. Cerberus picks off a kill or two, gets that rush on, gets that Aegis, and now it's at the Cold War stage again. They're just going to farm the Ancients. They're going to just allow everybody just to get, you know, full items here. I mean, you're talking about full items. We already have, I think that's what, a four-item Medusa. Yeah. Hurricane Pike uh, picked up as well. So, I mean, this is just its just going from bad to worse. I oh, feel. the stun lands. Beautiful pick there. Immediate. Yeah. Ownage on the Omni Knight. Now, nice BKB does force that out. I think that's like a nine-second. So a big cooldown to take out. But with that Omni Knight picked off, they know that they have no chance. They don't have his ult, they don't have his heal. So the only reason Prime was actually able to win a team fight right before this was because of that lovely Omni Knight ult. But look at this, another what? stun. The uh, Earthshaker just gets picked off every single time. This is not a good way. This I mean, has been going on for this Urshiker, yeah. He you had. play 36 minutes and then you lose uh, your your trio of supports like that, and you're just like, okay, well, what was uh, what was that for? 
The carries are staying alive. The carries are farming. The carries are very strong, but Prime needs the support. Well, this is not good because I know from the start, Earthshaker, he had to be the playmaker. He had to be the one to either delay or not. But oh my goodness, as I was saying that, no, Medusa, who? Yeah, don't get it twisted. Medusa's still very, very strong, but can't really walk into Wukong and uh, needs to move forward just to defend these racks. One low, I think it's uh, melee racks, but it's not nope. going to go down yep. just yet. It's not going to go down. They wanted to get one of the racks down, but they knew that if they commit... See, this is the difference. Cerberus, even though the racks was so low, I think a couple more hits landing from the sniper would have got it down, but they decide to pull back and, you know, this is the difference where Prime, they commit after a win. They commit and then that win turns into a stalemate or a loss. Whereas Cerberus, they take that win. A small win is good enough for them. They pull back. They don't lose or, you know, give anything back to Prime. And they mm -hmm. keep that win going on. All right, Prime, they want to make something happen. They smoked up. Yeah. Uh, everybody accepts. Oh, my goodness. If they find them on Medusa. the other side... Yeah, Sentry is coming out here, trying to get vision. Nope, that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, it was a good try. Yeah, and I don't even blame them because it feels like this entire game, servers have had presence on that mm -hmm. southern side of the map. But when uh, when Roshan's up, and this is like you know specifically the third one where you're really going to start to get some of these extremely powerful items. Uh, I, I mean, I don't even uh, I, I don't know if control on the bottom side is what. Uh, you're really looking for. Oh my god, look at this Mars. He's still smoked up. He's still, oh no, he got the Invis rune, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is Invis rune. Yeah. He's, in He's just providing vision. Chipping away at these shrines out there, just yeah. little by little. Mm -hmm. Jabs helping Cerberus take the slow and steady path here. Now, He's just being a human ward. Right oh, now. there's the oh, Blake the Skewer he backwards. Him, but there we go. The stun, the pushback and the stun. The Fissure trying to save him. Nice BKB, just walks right through. Yep, gets out, TP's home. That was a good pick off. Look at this, is that uh, that's Leshrac pushing the bottom lane, pressuring, forcing Mars to TP towards bot. Just not TP at all, oh my gosh. Just gonna let him go, a little bit too late. Wow, well, yep. I mean, a, a pick like that doesn't warrant a buyback or anything mm -hmm. scary, but it does certainly give the map control back to Cerberus. They know that without a five on five, uh, you know, they're not really going to be too vulnerable, yeah. especially when you pick off uh, the, the the swap. So ooh, ooh. keep an eye here. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, but it's okay, it's okay. A one v one fight. I mean, Tiberi did get the arcane rune, so if you want to hit that stone gauge, that's going to be a great oh, one goodness. to get and it. And the fight is going on at top here. That's right, so Wukong's command is up top, but look at the positioning on this Medusa, totally oh out of harm's way. Buyback on the uh, Earthshaker here, but look at the circle of blood. The arena's coming through, and inside oh, is that Medusa. Devenge does swap the Medusa out. Venge does even live. Looking like he could escape himself, uh, yeah. but yep. Jabs. Just look back for a split second, he does die. Uh, the Earthshaker and the Medusa do stay alive, but see, once again, Prime, Medusa started off by getting hit and running away from the sniper. Another skirmish team fight was happening on top uh, while that Medusa was running away. And wh when the Medusa eventually ran away into joining that skirmish at top. Whoa, wait, was there a what? hero there? No. No, no, no. Okay, I was. Yeah. I was but uh, yeah, all when I saw the was just yeah, a giant explosion. Yeah, but when the Medusa joined that fight, it kind of. Uh, started to come and unfold, uh, unfold in Prime's uh, team fight in a way, forcing uh, Cerberus to kind of group up and kind of come back together. But Prime, once again, they committed. They didn't feel like falling back when they had the chance, and they got three-man pickoff. Again, their Jaker and the Medusa survived, but still at a loss. 11K network difference. Yeah, and now we are going high ground. That Rax might have healed up a little bit, but not enough. Are they going to try to save it? I think you have to. Nope. Goes down. Both the Rax, the range, and the melee will go down. Oh, and now oh, the jump oh, in. The Mars. But look at Medusa in a perfect spot towards the back. Is Stonegate going to come out to really turn this around? It doesn't look like it. 
tonight. It's still a great pickoff onto one vengeful spirit here. It's just gonna be a spirit dead in gray. 50 seconds left, and look at this. Look at how Cerberus just gets one pick and falls back, does not commit. Yeah. This is this is what it is. This is a winning fight. This is a winning game that Cerberus is playing. They are not committing. They don't need to commit right now with 15K net worth on top of them, backing them up. <laughs> Some credit to Grimstroke there. You got to give it to him. Yeah. Uh, really do like that pick here just to prevent things like the Medusa from just picking a target and going to town. You don't really want to do that when it hurts you as much as it does them. All right. Well, they are having a great time here. A clone sniper. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The, the, the mini stunts that comes through with three snipers. I don't even want to be in this game right now. Certainly putting that illusion rune to, to use there. But uh, I mean, the Manta style as well. Yeah. Got illusions on both sides. Those are going to get taken out. And it uh, looks like we are going Ooh, high ground on the mid lane. This is what, what are you going to do? You going to sit yeah. there? I mean, I will die eventually. Well, that's the thing. We have the Earthshaker still dead for 30 seconds. Yeah. I, I still want to see a great at least three to four man uh, uh -oh. play dagger alt, but. Do so walking a little bit too far forward. Gets chunked down below half. Now, pretty much completely useless for this fight. I, I'm sure you can fortify for as long as you want, but it's not going to last forever. And this sniper might just win the game by himself. Gosh, uncontested. These racks will go down. The melee goes down now for the range. Not over committing. Recognizing that. See, that's the thing. Like, right now, in my mind, as Sniper was falling back, right? I was mm -hmm. like, why not just do like three or more, three or four more hits and then just get the melee, uh, the rage racks down as well? But see, that's the problem. That's why I'm here sitting, casting, and not playing. Because, like you said, <laughs> if he got, if he went there, uh, if he stayed and went for that three to four more hit to get that range racks down, it was there was a possibility of getting picked off. And wow, I I gotta commend uh, Cerberus for having those patience, having the control to pull back, even though that range racks was so close to going down. Tempting, yeah, definitely don't want to get greedy at this point. I mean. Uh, look at it this way, ending life. We're 40 minutes in, and I do still believe that anything can happen. The only problem is uh, that uh, we're starting to see some forces of inevitability start to kick in. Sniper, he will inevitably take all your stuff. Oh TNT my goodness, might vengeful. have just found Venge. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Sun Wukong going to drop down and turn it to night. All right. Well, Vengeful went in there to kind of, uh, I don't know if it was to, to D war or Wait, to just offensive war, but wow. was that uh, Was there a list track there? Can you tell me? Uh, no, 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 I didn't no, see. No, it, it was already a dead horse. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were just looking at the corpse. Man, I, yeah, Jabs making glue out of prime here. Now going for Roche number three. three. Right. Yeah, uh, so starting from Roche number three, you can click on the Roche to see whether it's going to drop the Scepter item or the Refresher item. It, it will be in the, the Roche inventory. Boring. I didn't want a oh, there Refresher. There it is. We have the cheese. Yeah, and Refresher, yeah, uh, the refresher shards. Yeah. So no Ag shards yet. This patch is not kicking in. But uh, I mean, even just a Refresher charge, it looks like that is probably on Grimstroke, if I'm not mistaken. Well, either way. You know, Prime right now, that uh, Vengeful pickoff, getting picked off, he was still trying to deward or ward offensively, try, uh, trying to get as much vision as possible. But, you know, this happens in any mobile game, not only in Dota 2, but mm -hmm. any mobile game. When, you, when you're as a support or as a person ho holding the ward, when you go ward at a late game like this, 45 minutes into the game, you don't go alone. You stick with your team to go together to ward mm -hmm. or deward. And Vengeful going by himself, or herself rather, uh, will get punished for going by herself. And now the bottom tier three tower is down. And if both of these racks go down, they're not going to be able, Prime's not going to be able to defend. Yeah, Super they're, they're Super looking creeps. for Megas here. Yeah. One racks all that stands in their way, and there's nothing that Prime can do to stop no. them. Now down on the T4s, Jabs. Creeps. Yeah, Jabs just kind of leading the charge. Swap in there on Seri, but he's the last oh. person you want right on top of your carries. Uh, nice BKB in the back here, but Taburi's going to have to go back. 
to the fountain. Yep. All right, the monkey is going to keep them out for now. Oh, goodness, this is GG. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. They might have one last-ditch effort left in them, but it doesn't look like Urshan, there's... Let's go in. Yeah, okay, he goes down, though. Hexed out immediately. That side device beautifully placed. Now Jabs, he's going to have to yeah. smoke himself on out of there. But uh, in the end, oh, Rude here catching 23 oh. Savage. But I think this is just a bait on the yeah. Taburi. He might be strong, not mm. strong enough. Sari, the new kid on the block to this Thai roster, unstoppable on that God of War. And now the Ancient will fall. Congratulations to Serb.